Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll learn about the concept and configuration of item categories in SAP MM. We'll see what is a item category, what is the significance of item categories and how we can see the configurations behind each item category that is available in SAP MM. But before we start, if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, I would request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to get early notifications of all my content. Your likes and subscriptions really motivate me to create more content on SAP MM module. Now let's dive into our today's topic that is the item categories in SAP MM. So what is an item category? Basically item categories in SAP MM are used to perform special procurement processes. There are certain predefined special procurement processes which SAP has provided us. To do those special procurement processes we need to use certain item categories in SAP MM. So as we can see on the screen the item categories are predefined by SAP and we cannot create our own custom item categories in SAP MM. In contrast to SAP SD where we can create our own custom item categories, in SAP MM the item categories represent special procurement processes that are predefined by SAP and hence we cannot create our own item categories as far as SAP MM is concerned. Also, the configurations which are there behind the item categories, we can only view those configurations. We cannot make any changes to those configurations. We can only view them to understand how these item categories are behaving in the background. So you can see on the screen, these are some of the item categories which are used in SAP MM. Some of these processes we have already discussed on our channel. You can see in the playlist that I've kept in the description. So you can see here some of the common item categories are K is for consignment process. Then L is for subcontracting process. B is for blanket purchase order. For service procurement, item category is D. Then you have S for third party process. T is for text item. Item category U is for stock transfer. And for any standard process where you are not going to use any special procurement process, you have to enter item category as blank. So these are some of the common item categories which we use in SAP MM. Now let's see in SAP where we enter this item category and where the configuration can be seen in SAP so that we can understand how these item categories behave in the background. Okay, so let's see in SAP now. So now let's see in SAP where we enter this item category and what is the configuration behind it. So whenever you create a PO through T code ME21N, you can see there is a column here which is called item category. You can see here this I column. Here you can enter the item category based on the special procurement process that you are going to adopt. Let's take a drop down here. Let's say that you are going to create the blanket purchase order. So for that the item category is B. Let's select this item category. We'll press enter. Let's enter a purchase organization. Purchase group. Company code. Let's enter a supplier here. Now system automatically asks you to enter a valid account assignment category. Now this happens because of the configuration behind this particular item category. So for item category B, account assignment category is mandatory. Let's enter some account assignment category here. Let's enter U here for unknown. Let's press enter. Now let's enter a material code. Let's see what happens. So we'll enter a material code. We'll press enter. We'll enter a plant. Again, we'll press enter. Now you can see system gives me another error message. It says item category B can only be used without material. So as per the procurement process of blanket purchase order, we are not supposed to enter any material code in the purchase order line item. We'll create a blanket purchase order line item with a particular short text and we'll keep on posting the invoice which is presented by the vendor. This is the blanket purchase order process. So these errors that you see on the screen, these errors are coming from the configuration of this particular item category. Okay, so for every item category, SAP has predefined configurations based on which system will actually prevent you to enter what is not required. Okay, so based on a particular special procurement process, system will guide you or will prevent you to enter certain entries in SAP so that that particular special procurement process is executed successfully. And today we are going to see that configuration only. So here you saw that when I entered item category B, system asked for account assignment category and system prevented entry of material code in the PO line item. Similarly, if I enter item category is K here, let's enter item category K, let's press enter. So you can see here system gave me an error regarding combination of item category K and account assignment category U. So in another configuration, we also configure the combinations of item categories and account assignment category. 
that's also we'll see today now let's again create a new purchase order line item with item category sk and let's see what happens so we'll open me21 and again we'll enter item category sk here we'll press enter we'll enter the purchase organization purchase group company code we'll enter a supplier now here you can see system is asking me a material code but system has grayed out this account assignment category field as per the consignment process account assignment category is mandatorily to be entered as blank i cannot post the gr to any account assignment because the consignment stock has to be received in the consignment warehouse so automatically system disallows you to enter any account assignment category if you enter item category as k and mandatorily here you will have to enter a material code because for consignment process the stock has to be received in the consignment warehouse so today we'll see two configurations one is the item category configuration and another one is the item category and account assignment combination configuration these configurations are very important that you need to understand and see them in sap and then understand how various item categories behave when you create purchase orders using those item categories okay so let's go to spro first so we'll go to spro we'll go to sap reference img materials management and here you can see define external representation of item categories if i execute this you can see all these item categories are listed here but you can see here there are two columns one is item category internal and another one is item category external now what is the meaning of these two columns whenever you take the drop down in the field for item category system shows you these item categories in the list let me show you again if i go to me 21 n if i take a drop down you can see these item categories are listed these item categories which is b k l s all these letters are listed here if i go in the configuration you can see these letters are listed in the item category external column so this is the external representation of the item category that is what will be shown to the end user on the screen but whenever you are going to write any custom code with these item categories then you will have to use these entries against the external representation of the item category that is whenever you save the purchase order system saves in the table with these item categories so let's say that you created a purchase order with item categories b system will save this item category in the table akpo with item category as 1 so whenever you are going to write any code let's say that you are a functional consultant and you have to ask the abapper to write a code you have to tell them what is the internal representation of your item category so external representation is shown on the screen when you take the drop down or when you make the entry manually the system saves that item category in this particular format so if you are going to save a purchase order with item category k in the table system will save this entry as 2 so this is about internal representation and external representation now to see the configuration we have to double click on any of these line or we can go to the detail icon here so let's first double click on the item category b here now you can see the configuration is divided in three major blocks you can see control account assignment control goods receipt and control invoice receipt in the account assignment you can see there are three columns material required additional account assignment and inventory management these three settings actually control the functions related to material account assignment and inventory management so you can see here for item category b material is not allowed and that is why we saw that when we created purchase order with item category b and we entered a material code in that particular po line item system did not allow me to enter the material code and system gave me an error that error actually happened because this configuration is given by sap that for item category b you cannot enter any material code in the po line item similarly for account assignment it is mandatory so whenever you are going to enter item categories b you have to mandatorily enter account assignment category then for inventory management it is not allowed so whenever you will try to do gr for any po line item which has item category b system will not allow and this is as per the business process of blanket purchase order 
that in blanket purchase order we are not going to do any gr so you have inventory management not allowed and that is why you have to mandatorily enter account assignment and material code also you will not enter in the po line item so you are going to directly process the invoice through myro transaction and that is why we have account assignment is mandatory material is not allowed and inventory management is also not allowed Now in this section you can see this is for control goods receipt. This checkbox tells the system whether goods receipt is possible or not for this item category. So for item category K you can see goods receipt is possible and then this checkbox for GR indicator firm actually tells the system that whether goods receipt is mandatory or not. So you can see for item category K GR is mandatory. So this checkbox tells that whether GR is possible and this checkbox tells the system that whether GR is mandatory or not. Then GR valuation is whether the GR shall be non-valuated or valuated. So you can see whether GR will be non-valuated and whether GR non-valuated will be firm. That is GR non-valuated shall be mandatory or not. And you can see here for item category K, the GR non-valuated firm indicator has been selected. So when you do goods receipt for item category K line item, no financial document will get posted. So it will be a non-valuated goods receipt. And that's why you can see here, GR non-valuated firm indicator has been marked. So this is about the control goods receipt section. Then here you have control invoice receipt. Now you can see here invoice receipt PO item linked checkbox is deselected. This tells the system that the invoice receipt is not possible for this item category and the IR indicator firm tells the system that you cannot change this particular selection. That is the invoice receipt is not possible and you cannot change this setting in the purchase order line item. As you know for item category K that is consignment process, Miro is not done. You settle the amount against the vendor through MRKO and that is why you see here invoice receipt is not possible and it is firm in the purchase order. So you have seen there are three sections. One is control account assignment, control goods receipt and control invoice receipt. Similarly, if we go to the blank item category, let's double click here. You can see material is possible, account assignment is possible and inventory management is possible. Goods receipt, you have goods receipt is possible, but you can change this in the purchase order. That is you can switch on or switch off the goods receipt checkbox in the PO line item for item category blank and GR valuation none of these checkboxes are selected. That is you can either have a GR valuated or a GR non-valuated entry in the PO line item. For invoice receipt you can see invoice receipt is possible and the IR indicator is changeable in the purchase order. So in this way, the item categories are configured. If you want to see the documentation, you can click in this particular icon here. You can read about the documentation on the item category configuration. Okay. So this is all about the item category configuration. Now let us see the combination of account assignment and item category configuration. So we'll go back. We'll again go back. And here in the account assignment section, you can see define combination of item categories and account assignment categories. So for each item category, you can have a list of account assignment which are allowed for that item category. Let's open this setting. Now let's see for item category B what all account assignments are allowed. So you can see for item category B, these account assignments are only allowed. That is account assignment category C, K and U. Okay. Similarly, for other item categories, you can see what all account assignment categories are allowed for each item category. Okay. So this is where you configure the combination between item categories and account assignment categories. And if a particular combination is not available here in the configuration, then you will not be able to create the purchase order with that particular combination of item category and account assignment category. So here you can see on the screen all the major item categories. I have listed them as per the configurations in SAP. Always remember that each item category corresponds to a particular business process and hence SAP has entered these configurations in the background as per the business process of such item category. Okay. So this is all about the configuration of item categories and combination of item category and account assignment category. I hope that you've understood the concept of item categories and the configuration behind each item category. As I have told you, item categories are predefined. You cannot change the settings. You cannot create your own item categories in SAP MM. 
you only have to understand the business process behind each item category and the configuration which is there in the system. You cannot change or create anything as far as item categories are concerned. If you want to see detailed videos on each of these item categories, that is the subcontracting process, consignment process, stock transfer process, blanket purchase order, all these processes I have already covered on my channel. I have created a dedicated playlist for special procurement process. I have kept the link in the description. You can check there and check each of these special procurement processes. That's all for today. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thanks a lot.